Time to play with some clay. Well, I'm researching dugouts, and the reason I am, and the reason I am is because I did a sketch of a dugout with a couple of mountain men in it, and I want to see what the finished surface of the dugout, out, dug out, <laughs> of the dugout would look like. And so I'm just doing a little Google search on uh, dugouts. And it looks like they were pretty smooth. Here's one. Let's see, rare found in Morgan County. Bergen County. I don't know where that is, but you can see it's really smooth on the surface of the uh, dugout, which is interesting. I'm going to save that image. I'm saving quite a few images because when I do my research, I like to have more than one reference. Now, here's a good picture of a dugout. That's a Nez Perce built dugout. So that would, uh, let's see, canoe camp. The Nez Perce built these canoes for the Lewis and Clark Corps to travel down the Columbia. So it it's a good picture of that type of canoe. So. There wasn't birch bark everywhere that they went, so they had to make do with what they had. And these are interesting looking ones. I've seen videos on uh, YouTube of, of people making dugouts and making canoes uh, out of birch bark too. So I'm just trying to find the best example for what I'm trying to do. Let's take a look at this guy. Shawnee dugout canoe. That's interesting. Anyway, I think I've got enough to go by. So now it's time to maybe get the drawing. Now, I've got a little light table. Now, let me get this drawing off here. I've got a light table that I, or not table, but tablet or whatever, whatever you want to call this that I bought online. I can't remember where I got it because I got it over a year ago. I never have used it. Um, I don't do a lot of drawing, but uh, I've been asked by the people that want me to show with them at the uh, it used to be the car Charlie Russell show up in Great Falls. But they no, no longer call it the Charlie Russell show. It's called something else, and I don't really know what it's called. But it's around the 17th of next month up in uh, Great Falls at the uh, Heritage Inn, which is a hotel or motel in that I've shown in before, back when it was the uh, Charlie Russell, Russell show, but they, they were taken over by another company and uh, up there, and uh, I haven't shown in it for over 10 years. So it's going to be interesting to go up there again. Anyway, I turn on the... Uh, light of my table so I can see what I'm drawing and I've got a thin pen here I'm going to turn on my lamp so that I can take a look at uh, the drawing as I draw it I can't I can't really show you what I'm well I'll go ahead and start drawing It, it, this helps me to work out the uh, positioning of everything and the proportions. I 
beforehand. I'm drawing fringe right now. That's what, if you're not wondering what the heck I'm doing. I think I may be running out of power on my drawing pad. It's uh, wanted to quit on me. So I may have to stop and charge it up. And turn off the light every once in a while to check the drawing to see how it looks. I spent three days on a, the Snake River back when I was a kid, back in the 60s. As an explorer scout, we took canoes down the uh, Snake River, starting at uh, Moose Lodge in south of uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Spent three days on the river, traveling down the river through rapids and calm water. It was interesting. But uh, it was scary at times, especially when we hit the rapids. If you wrecked back in the uh, 1820s or 30s, like these guys were doing, you had nobody to help you but yourself. I don't know if this drawing is going to turn out any good. But, got to try it. <laughs> I'll turn the light off every once in a while just to see how the drawing's coming. doing a fur cap on this guy. I'm sorry I haven't got a better view of it than what I got right now, but there's no good mount for the uh, camera, except around my neck with a broken <laughs> holder. I got a, ordered a, a neck mount for my camera made out of plastic and the first thing that breaks is the prongs that you lock it in with and uh, so it's basically just hanging. I don't know. This guy is pointing at some danger or something he's seen on shore. This is the uh, bound or wrapped supplies they've got in the canoe. It won't be smooth, it'll be textured because of uh, whatever they got inside the uh, bundle that has rope holding it together. I'm going to have his rifle back here. So anyway, that's what I'm doing today. I'm just making a fool of myself with trying to draw.
So I'll come back uh, maybe with something else that I'm drawing later on. But uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing this all today because I'm, I don't work on Sunday if I can help it. I may have to the day of the show, but that's because I got friends who've committed to it and I'm not going to let them down. in the uh, I'm going to put some tree rings on the bow Thought I'd show you a couple of drawings that I've already made. This is a warrior, and I wanted to make a mountain man to match his height so that the, if somebody bought the drawings, they could get two drawings they could, um, you know, frame separately but would face each other. And uh, that's a mountain man I did. That's uh, all the drawings I've got. To, well, actually, I've got another one too. I don't know where I got it, it's of a pioneer woman. Anyway, that's it for now. See you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Please give me a like and a subscribe. And ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.